Hey guys, how y'all doing? Bionicle Source here, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Safari Limited Parasaurolophus. This is a gorgeous little figure, and just to start out, let's talk about the sculpt. The paint is wonderful as well, but we need to start with this frickin' sculpt because it is just extraordinary. As you can see, the detail is extremely fine. Nothing has been forgotten. There isn't a smooth, bland area on the entire surface of the figure. I mean, just look at those tiny scales. Uh, almost the best way to appreciate the detail of this figure is not to look at it, but to actually feel it. It has this really fine, rough texture to it that can only be achieved with scales so small. As I mentioned earlier, the paint is also just wonderful. And as you can see, I mean, I love this whole, like, Holstein cow theme they have going on. It's not exactly white and black, it's yellow and brown, but still, if you just look at the kind of blotchy pattern, I totally see a classic black and white cow in there somewhere, you know, you can definitely tell that that was a bit of inspiration for this guy. And, I mean, there just there isn't a paint flaw on the whole thing, I mean, just every little bit has been painted so perfectly. All these brown bits of pattern have like a really kind of, like an extremely thin bit of darker brown or black pinstriping, and it's so vague, but it's there, and it's done so meticulously, and look at these little wrinkles and bits of folded skin. I mean, that is just incredible. It's all on the other side as well, these bits of folding and stretching skin. I mean, that just, oh, that looks incredible. As you would expect, the head is just as well done as the rest of the body. There is a better look at the tongue and other bits of sculpted and painted detail in the mouth interior. The posing and positioning of the figure is something I'm not quite as keen on. It does look better in person than it did in the stock photos, but it's still a little off in my opinion. There's just something about the overall kind of the way the animal's carrying itself and the placement of the limbs. It just doesn't feel as fluid or as dynamic as some of the other figures that Safari did this year. One of the best elements of this figure is the fact that this is a very accurate Parasaurolophus. Hadrosaurs may not be one of those dinosaurs that we generally think of, of as being inaccurately portrayed or reconstructed. You know, I think in general most people look at most modern Hadrosaur figures and probably don't overthink the accuracy part but a lot of them are heavily shrink-wrapped. It is something that unfortunately happens to, uh, to a lot of Hadrosaur figures, including ones that Safari has done in the past. But this one is beautifully proportioned. It is so chunky, especially the thighs and the tail. This is not an emaciated, shrink-wrapped dinosaur. This is a properly proportioned dinosaur. And as far as other accuracy things, uh, things go, I mean, the crest on the head is just perfect. The whole shape of the skull is right on the dot. And there is a little cloaca included, which is an awesome little accurate anatomical detail that Safari pretty much always includes, but it is nonetheless always great to see. And may we just bask in the glory of accurate hadrosaur front feet. Now let's get into some size comparisons. Here it is with the Papo Allosaurus. As you can see overall, the new Safari Limited Parasaurolophus is fairly average in size, not overly small, not overly large either. Here it is with the Safari Limited Utyrannus. And now let's bring in Safari Limited's last attempt at a Parasaurolophus the 1988 Carnegie Collection Parasaurolophus. Seeing the progression that Safari has made since 1988 to 2017, almost 30 years, that is just absolutely incredible. All in all, this Parasaurolophus easily gets an A from me. This wasn't the most hyped up figure of Safari Limited's 2017 lineup, but my god, it is not one that you cannot get. You, just, you cannot pass up this figure. I know I said that also about the Cetacosaurus in the last review, but I really just extra mean it here because this is just an amazing Parasaurolophus. One of my all-time favorite Hadrosaur figures and herbivore figures in my collection, and this is just a beautifully sculpted, wonderfully painted figure, and one that I just cannot recommend enough. Thank you for watching, and Bionicle Saurus signing out.